All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, Javante Davis's team responds to Ryan Garcia's suspension and Devin Haney's reaction. And we're going to talk about that because there's a lot of people that say, hey, Devin got his old bag. Nah. Nah. No, he didn't. He got his old back on box rec. He didn't take, he did not erase that loss. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, I will without a doubt be getting called a hater by Devin Haney fans, and I am more than willing to live with it. Um, we're going to talk about what uh, Kenny Ellis, who is Ryan Garcia, who is Gervonta Davis's trainer, had to say about what happened with the suspension to Ryan Garcia and what happens next. Also, there's a whole lot of celebrate not in the street. Uh, by uh, Devin Haney supporters. And I'm telling y'all, you can put your trumpets down because this ain't a good look for anybody. And I'm going to explain why it is not a good look for anybody. And the only thing y'all should be talking about, in my opinion, is run it back. Now, before I get into the details, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really makes a big difference. If you got any problems in your life, struggles in your life, man, you're going to get through it. Pick up a boxing match on YouTube, watch it and watch somebody watch two dudes beat each other up and be amazed by it and get a couple seconds of reprieve from your problems. That's one of the reasons why there's boxing out there in the world. So shout out to all the subscribers that send me notes and we chop it up back and forth about what's going on in the real, 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 real world. Um, you can always DM me on um on Instagram. That's one of the benefits for channel members and all of that is that we have real life conversations between each other. And even if you're not, if you just somebody that comes by on a regular basis and we get to know each other. But anyway, just wanted to say that, man, because there's a lot of people that send me notes and I do not mind at all answering the answering your question and talking to you about that stuff. But let's get into this. Um, Devin Haney got beat up by Ryan Garcia. That's a fact. It's not going to go away. Devin Haney had his O given back to him. So he is no longer, he no longer has a loss on his record. He has a no contest on his record, but he does not have a loss on his record. Ryan Garcia has one loss on his record. He no longer has 25 wins. He now I do believe he has 24 wins and he has a no contest on his record. So, the outcome of that fight for people that look back on, look at the box Rex years later, right? 10 years later, 15 years later, we'll see a fight that says Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. No contest. May see an explanation says Ryan Garcia tested positive for this after a fight. Da, 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 da. Right. Most people, though, that saw the fight are going to remember that Devin got beat up and got dropped three official times, five, two more times unofficially, and that he got dominated by Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia maintains his innocence. Also, there's a lot of Ryan Garcia fans that maintain his innocence. I was on Twitter yesterday, and let me get a shout out to a guy out there on, on Twitter. If you watch the video, um... Man, I hate that I that I shut it, shut it off. But there's a guy that I talked to on Twitter that I was saying, hey, man, Ryan Garcia, you got off light. You need to be happy. And people said, no, 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 he didn't have anything. He that was an accident and he didn't do it intentionally. And it was such a small amount. And, and I'm like, look, man, you got to tell that to the New York State Athletic Commission. The fact of the matter is the punishment was not very severe for Ryan can sit all things considered water under the bridge, you know, pay the ten thousand dollars, figure out how you can get your money back from Oscar De La Hoya in his 
forfeiture of money. Well, I'll talk about that on my live stream, the forfeiture of money and the and the, that's a loophole you can drive a truck through. And then the uh, what was the other one? Oh, you got to have random testing. You got to have random random testing for a year, which people should have to do anyway. So whatever. Right. However, they this dude and much respect to you um, was very livid about it and felt like that Ryan Garcia was done a disservice. So that's and that's and that is if you believe he didn't cheat and you believe that people, you know, if you didn't cheat and it was an accident or somebody set you up or whatever it was, which is what which is what Ryan Garcia still maintains. They set him up. Whatever the case is, there's a lot of people that feel that way. So they look at Devin Haney like Devin Haney got whooped. Devin Haney has a lot of people. There's a lot of Devin Haney. There's a lot of people that don't even like Ryan Garcia. They were just happy that Devin Haney got whooped. Just happy that he got whooped. Like, man, hey, man, maybe he cheated. Maybe he didn't. Who cares? I just I saw you get whooped, though. So and then there's people that feel like, hey, man, no, he cheated. Ryan cheated Devin and Devin, you know, deserved his win back. And now he can move on. Nah, man. You got to settle that in the ring, like Kenny Ellis from Gervonta Davis' team said. He said, look, he didn't believe that Ryan Garcia should be fined and suspended. But, hey, man, if there was something in there and you did it wrong, hey, serve your suspension or whatever it is. And then you come back in the ring and these guys got to run it back. That's just that simple. And then Devin's got to prove that he's able to beat Ryan. And Ryan's got to be able to prove that he can beat Devin and then have nothing in his system while he does it. And that fight should get run back into the day. End of no questions asked. Now, the funny thing is that if that is what takes place, well, you're going to have both of these guys be off for about the same amount of time for that fight. Devin Haney has said things like he's not going to be fighting at weight classes anymore. He's going to be fighting at one, whatever weight makes him feel comfortable. <sighs> I've had all the belts. I don't need belts anymore. Okay, that's fine. You guys can do a catch weight fight wherever Ryan feels comfortable and you feel comfortable. If you can beat Ryan like that, that's fine. No, similar to not a lot of people are going to forget. Not a lot of people are going to forget that he, Devin got beat. Not a lot of people are going to care what the weight class was if Devin is able to get his revenge. However, at the end of the day, Devin's got to go out there and try to get his revenge. And there's going to be a lot of people trying to get Devin to move on. But Devin doesn't really have anywhere to go. Eddie Hearn is out there talking all kind of crazy about Devin um, and was very, very, very uh, direct about the fact that that Devin didn't show loyalty to him. So why should he show loyalty to Devin? Devin is going to need to buckle down with the promoter, period, and stay with the promoter. He is, does not have a promotional company. So whatever he does, he still got a ways to go to make up for what happened. Ryan Garcia also is in the same situation. But I agree 100% with Kenny Ellis. These guys need to run that back and run it back on at one year after that suspension, after that suspension is over. Um, and that would be good to go. And they can sell the fight the entire time. And I guarantee you what? That one thing, they will make a lot more money, sell a lot more tickets in that rematch than they did in the original, without a doubt. Because people are going to think it's a very serious fight. Some people are going to say, well, Devin's about to dominate him because he's going to fight differently. And not only, gonna, not only is he going to fight differently, Ryan's not going to be able to cheat. Ryan's fans are going to say, man, Ryan didn't cheat. Devin can't take a punch. And he's slow. So, He's about to whoop him again. All kind of people are going to come to that fight. You can have that fight in Vegas. It'll be a very big deal because now it's a grudge match. And at the end of the day, everybody will win from it. Fight fans will win from it. Devin will win from it. Uh, Ryan will win from it. But anyway, it's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. Deuces.